and welcome to Zodiac Tarot Readings for August 2016. These readings will bring me up to um, a year that, uh, that I started these. The first readings I put out were September 2015. I'm still considering whether to continue with these monthly readings, uh, maybe continue with the monthly readings at the beginning of the month and drop the mid-month updates. Um, I'll see. I haven't decided yet. Also, so important, um, I have successfully moved my website, The Witch's Corner, from its old uh, web host to our new location. And the new URL for The Witch's Corner is amethystrain.blogspot.com. This is not a blog. This is a website. So technically, the only post on this blog is the home page. Um, and then I have added all the other pages that I've moved over from the original site. And those pages can be found in the menu in the right column. So amethystrain.blogspot.com. The Witch's Corner lives on. For this month's readings, I'm going to choose different tarot decks for different signs, and I actually haven't decided um, which I'm going to use for which. Um, it's something that I will decide um, as I get ready to do the readings. So before each reading, I will introduce to you which, which deck I'm using for that particular sign. As usual, um, in the links in the description box below each video are links to free calculators to help you find your moon and your rising sign. Most people, especially those not totally familiar with astrology, just fixate on our sun sign. But sometimes your moon and your rising sign will actually resonate with you more. Um, and you should watch those videos as well. And sometimes it's just fun to do so because it rounds out the reading somewhat. And some of you may not have like a separate sign for each of those um, three aspects because my moon and my rising sign are both the same. So it will be interesting for you to use those links and to find your moon and your rising sign if you don't already know them. My main plug for this August is my book, The Spiritual Feminist. I would like to say that um, uh, from the title of this book, this is a book on matriarchal spirituality, and that is my version of feminism. And um, this book leads women to healing, self-discovery, and a spirituality that is uh, based in the goddess. And that's what the spiritual feminist is all about, and I highly recommend this book for women everywhere. Also, at my YouTube channel, there is a playlist called Woman Speak. There are 14 videos in this playlist, and these videos are based on my book, The Spiritual Feminist. There's a different theme and a different goddess for each one of the videos, so you might want to take a look there and enjoy. And now, with no further ado, on to August Zodiac Tarot Readings. Hello Pisces and welcome to your August reading. The deck that I'm going to be using for you this month is the Green Witch Tarot by Anne Mora and the art is by Kiri Ostergaard Leonard. And here's the box. Um, I love Anne Mora of the Green Witchcraft book line. Let me see. Make it open. Okay. Oh, this and in Anne Mora's two tradition. This is a thick, thick book. Beautiful. So we'll set this aside. And here are our cards. The back. I love the back. Very witchy and pagany. 
And um, before I start, let me get a little incense cone here to light. Sometimes I remember to have these going before I start the camera, and sometimes I don't. So I just light this cone. My neighbor is mowing, so I've got the windows closed. I hope that doesn't affect us. It's nice to be able to tape my videos in here out of the heat, humidity, and mosquitoes. Okay, so there we go. So I'm just going to take and shuffle this deck up a little bit. And I'll pull four cards from you from different areas of the deck. These are a nice size card for the hand. If you don't like super large or oversized, these are probably the size of an average card deck. And they're very slippery, so they, they shuffle well. Okay, ready, ready to go. We're gonna start with card number one. Knight of Chalices. This is another deck that does not have a border, so the image just seems to pop out at you. The Knight of Chalices. I'm getting a very traditional energy off of this card right from the bat, and that is a knight in shining armor, and he's on your horizon. And I'm so glad that he's upright. When he's upright, um, he's honorable, he is what he appears to be, and um, he may have promise as um, an interesting friend or a romantic suitor. Just want to look at this card a little bit out of the glare. <clears throat> um, also, I have the idea of being set up, like set up on um, a surprise date um, with someone you already know, being set up on a blind date, being set up, someone being paired together. If you are, are a already married Pisces, I see a romantic getaway, possibly a surprise, something unexpected, something just for the two of you, something that will advance romance and partnership and togetherness and all that good energy. Hmm. To those of you who are single, this, this knight is definitely offering the cup um, to you, the cup of relationships, the cup of emotions and love and all that beautiful, positive energy. Card number two, the High Priestess. Ooh, I love this. this. is one of my favorite cards in any deck. And this they just did an excellent job in this one. I love this card. As with all things, when new people and new opportunities come into your life, whether for relationships or jobs or whatever, it's always wise to listen to our inner voice and go with our gut feelings. If it's good, you'll go with it with no qualms. If you have hesitation, you have doubt, you have some sort of a, a negative feeling about it, but you can't quite put it into words, just understand the feeling. You don't have to verbalize it. Also, I want to look at this card. There's a lot of magic energy coming off of this card. There's um, the bubbling cauldron, there's the herbs, the idea of making magic, the idea of moving energy, the idea of magical creation, the idea of self-empowerment, the idea of um, taking all the energies from the earth plane, from the herbs, from the water, from the moon, um, creating your own reality manifesting your desires. There is also the, the feeling of someone very preoccupied, very intense, very focused 
um, on these very things, their spirituality and their own growth. <sighs> mm. um, companions, familiars, um, those things coming into your life, whether they are animals, whether they are people, um, whether they are magical moments, um, synchronistic events come into your life that will draw you farther on your spiritual path and your spiritual awakening and your journey. Card number three. Card number three for Pisces is Six of Pentacles. It did come up reversed. The Six of Pentacles is all about um, having and sharing. When it's reversed, it's a little difficult for us to share. And sometimes when we come to points like that in life where we have given and given to people, it is okay, um, and this card is giving me the feeling that you need to know it's okay when the tables are turned and you are the one who is receiving the benefit and the help and the generosity from someone else. I just want to look at this card for a moment more. Uh, there's also with this card still the energy, the feeling of an element of surprise. There's a surprise for Pisces um, within, within the near future. Something totally unexpected, but something very pleasant, very positive, um, uh, maybe love-based, but it's, it's very happy harmonic energy. Um, I want to say before I do the last card, these two cards seem to come together as a couple for me. There is the, the chivalrous, um, honorable knight, and there is the beautiful spiritual priestess and and this just feels like a coupling to me it feels like a coupling on the same level whether that is the same level of age whether that is implying the same um, type of spiritual path um, someone that you have something in common with or someone that you have a lot of things in common with um, and it's like a magical coupling and that seems to be one of the themes that's running through a lot of my readings for August the summer just seems to blossom in many ways, and that is also romantic ways as well. He is offering his cup. She is making her potion. It's as though it's an offering to each other. So I feel this couple will have something very positive and uplifting to offer each other. Let's go on and see what card number four Four is card number four ace of chalices reversed this card is pretty much an affirmation of what we just went through the aces are beginnings and chalices generally herald um, new relationships the fact that it's reversed doesn't really feel significant to me only that it's more spotlighted to toward myself. I'm not getting any negative energy or negative feelings from the card itself per se. So I want to turn it upright and look again. Um, calla lilies, Easter, um, next spring, something significant w will come from this meeting for this couple in the spring, in the future. When the calla lilies are blooming, uh, probably around um, Ostara. Uh, also, um, a lot of effort is going into this. Whether this is a couple, there's a lot of effort going into creating this relationship. Whether this couple meets long distance and, and it takes um, um, responsibility and passion and determination and um, intent. Um, from both sides to build this relationship and grow this relationship. I have a feeling of this couple swimming upstream, overcoming a lot of odd obstacles that, that will be in their way in order to be together. 
but it, it appears that they will be successful. And this in itself, it shows, it shows a great um, devotion to each other and a devotion um, to the outcome of a successful relationship. And I do believe that this is a wonderful place to end the reading for Pisces.